And now, for the joke you've been waiting the entire Let's Play for. <laughs> this game's about balls. Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Today is actually uh, not really the finale of this project because we have one extra video. But this is going to be the finale for the main part of the game. Because we only have one tournament left, uh, we unlocked a new character. I got this guy, Cecil for actually getting 100% on patchwork. And uh, I actually figured out that there is no secret character for uh, Tiki Woods. Thank God, because that course is insane. Uh, but we do get a secret character from this last tournament, and I believe it's the same kind of thing. We have to get 100 points. So uh, if I don't do that in this video, I'll have to do that off camera before the final video, which I can easily do, that's not a problem. But, uh, for this video, I am gonna use Cecil because, well, Cecil is a dork. He has mathematical equations that come out of his, uh, being whenever you select them. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, I basically got a gold trophy on every single world. And when we do that on hard mode, and yes, this is on hard mode, by the way, and this is the only way you can play this course you unlock the final tournament, Iggy's Challenge. So, yeah, we're going to take on Iggy's Challenge. Now, the thing about this course is, these are actually all tracks we've done before. So, uh, yeah, there's nothing new here. Which is uh, kind of a good thing, but also, you know, kind of lame too. It kind of defeats the purpose of, uh, basically, you know getting this because hey we've already unlocked everything why do we need to you know see this again but um you know it's basically just a, a little uh collection of all the final tracks of all the other tournaments uh this is uh baby enchilada which is the final track for easy street i believe it's the final track for easy street anyway hope i'm correct in saying that so yeah, we'll see a lot of these uh, tracks that we've already seen before. And they're all one lap, so this should actually go pretty quickly too, so I am kind of happy about that. So yeah, we got first place here. Uh, one thing I might do is I might actually uh, make it so I only show the successful run of every single track, and I'll try to get the secret character now, like in this recording, so I think I am going to do that, so that's exactly what we're going to do, so... Let's get going. Okay, here is Orbital, the last track from downtown. This is actually the fourth time of me trying this because uh, I failed twice and I had a really, really unlucky break in the last attempt. Where I basically fell down a ledge and I fell like two thirds down from the course, so. Yeah, that was sucky. But anyway, we're gonna continue. Um, idiot. Fine, I'll make you... Okay, yeah, I did make you small. I was like, did I make you small? I was like, yeah, I did. Okay, that's good. Making you small is exactly what I want to do, although they're back to normal now, and I don't want to waste too many of my boosts, because I'm probably going to need them. And I don't like how these guys are catching up to me so quickly. Uh, while I'm doing this, I guess I'll kind of talk about my uh, adventure through hard mode in this game, because... Uh, like I said before, I had to pretty much play hard mode to uh, get to this point. Um, hard mode was not fun. You can probably expect uh, that all the computer players on hard mode are basically just as evil as they are in normal mode, but even eviler, and that's pretty much what it was. Uh, basically, a lot of item spamming, a lot of pushing me around when I don't want to be pushed around, yeah, it was really, really annoying, and I did not like it in the slightest. But I was able to get through it all eventually, and I guess that's what matters in the end. So, hooray, I actually made it. Uh, gonna try to take a shortcut right here. Ah, oh, dang it! Why did I freaking hesitate? I should have just, like, let me myself roll with it and land on that platform, but no, I decided to be stupid about it. So I'm now going to have to rush to the end with uh, some of the players behind me. 
Uh oh no. Hurry up, hurry up. Good. Great. Wonderful. We should be almost there at this point. Just one little part left, and there we go. First place. Okay, hopefully none of the others take me this long, although they probably will. Okay, let's see what's next. Here is Spiral and Sana from Candy Lane. Also, one thing I want to mention, I'm going to try to release this today, uh, so uh, check the video description because I'm going to have it posted there, obviously. Um, for uh, One Up Galaxy, which is the uh, blog website I am a part of, I actually made a review for my uh, Great Game Offensive series uh, based on this game. So, uh, yeah, basically after playing the game pretty much non-stop for those... Uh, two days I was kind of talking about earlier where I was playing through hard mode and unlocking everything in hard mode. Uh, basically I got to really take a look at this game, kind of uh, analyze what I really like about it, what I really despise about it, and put it in review form. So uh, I'm going to try to get that up um, before I upload this, so if you want to check that out, um, go ahead and read the review. Uh, there shouldn't be any spoilers because... Uh, Basically, this is like the one spoiler, this uh, course, that I'm actually going to mention in the review. So, uh, now that you've seen this, you've pretty much seen everything. So, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll uh, definitely post that and put that in the video description if you want to read my thoughts. I have to admit, I have definitely a lot of mixed feelings about this game. Uh, you know, a lot of them are pretty negative, but for the most part, I still really like this game for some reason. I don't know. There's just something about it that I can't really hate about it. I don't know what it is, but, um... You know, it's it's most, it's a great game and a great concept. Execution was kind of down, which is very unfortunate, but... You know, they did a decent job with it, that's for sure. So yeah, check out for that in the uh, video description. Next we have uh, Tower 4, Bar Maldor... Whatever. This is a, the last track in the deep, I think. And that was like the first time that I actually got the final bounce on everybody. Normally it's the other way around. I get there first and everyone bounces on my head. I uh, don't really remember what this one's about. Aside from the giant arrow path. That's really about it. And, uh... Okay, cool. I like when I get the lead and the advantage. Where did you come from? I have no idea where Mr. Clownface came from, but I don't like, and I want him to stay away from me. And my family. Ah. I'm not sure what my family has to do with this, but I don't care. Keep Mr. Clownface away from him. That's all I ask. Wait. I got the helicopter? How the hell did I get the helicopter? I, c I can't even use it though. Like I'm pressing the item button and it's not letting me use it. Probably because I'm not in last place, but how the hell did I get it? Was it because I was on that one track that like put me briefly in fourth place or something? Like, that's the only thing I can think of. That's really strange though. So yeah, I have a helicopter in first place, and I uh, can't even use it. <laughs> Let's see then. Wait! No! Okay, I, I could use it there, because I wanted to use my boost, and then it, like... Okay, well, thank God I still won, but... Okay, I used it and it took me to a lower part of the track. Okay then. Well... Hey, no complaints. We won, so next track. Okay, here's tower number five up the junction from Soft Sun Bay. This is like the eighth time of me doing this. This is the hardest one so far. I have no idea what the freaking deal is with this one. It's just ridiculous because there's so many stupid freaking things that can screw you over. And 
the computer players can, you know, avoid all of them because they're computer players, so... Yeah, the... Bar is stacked against you, that's for sure. So, basically any time you can get like a few sections ahead of the computer players, you have to take advantage of those sections, otherwise you're not going to win. Like, so far things are looking up for me pretty well. Just got to do this next section good enough, and then the section after that well enough. Also, yeah, you get the trick helicopter if you go too fast, which is a... F How the hell did you make it here? Okay, that's, that's not even fair. And of course, he can magically do this with no problem. Okay, well, I'm still in the lead, thank God. Let's just... No, no! Come on. I am not going to freaking lose this. Take that. Thank God. And it's really annoying because you get that trick helicopter which, you know, because the game glitches and thinks you're in fourth place, you get that, but then if you actually find a place to use it, you'll actually go backwards, so... God, this game is freaking glitched out, and it's not funny. Okay, tower number sticks, bug trousers. I believe this is from Funkyville. Funkyville, or Funkville, not Funkyville. Out of my way. Shoot, I kind of remember this one. And I remember that it's better to get on the inside. I don't know how far ahead I'm going to be, though. No, I have a helicopter. Let me use it. There. There. Aw, oh, dang it. I touched him when he was had Starman, so... It screwed me over. Um, apparently, Snowball Guy is in the lead, and... I don't... Again, I don't know, because they, how glitchy this game is, I can never tell who's in the lead. I think in this case, it is actually Snowman Guy, but... Um, I don't know how far away I am from him, so... He's all the way up to there, which... Okay, he's actually really close. Uncool. Oh, seriously! Oh, there he is, right there. And Clownface probably just screwed me over by doing that. Uncool. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, God. Okay, hold on, not over yet, not over yet, not over yet, <laughs> wow, that was really weird, and very, very uncertain, I never know, I never knew what place I was in that entire race, which is not funny, okay, well, we're more than halfway done, we're 60% done, okay, next we have Mohinder A+, from uh, Tectricity, I remember this one not being too bad, except for, uh, basically the first part right here. Yeah, I like taking this part slow. 
then, yep, hitting the up arrow, so... Yes, okay, good. I wouldn't say I have a big lead right now, but I'm getting there. Especially with that little fast section right there. Let's keep going. Okay, jump over that. I would use a boost right now, but I have these uh, wonderful projectiles that I don't want to frickin' screw up my usage of. Okay, keep going. I think we're almost there. Yes. And... Almost, almost... Yes. Okay, there we go. Three more left. Thank God. Let's go to the next one. Okay, here is uh, tower number eight, Porous Torso, from Sun Canyon. This one I kind of remember being uh, somewhat easy. It's a very short track. A lot of it kind of depends on uh, when you get to a specific part of this track and whether or not you can take advantage of it or not. That little shortcut right there also really helps. Here is where uh, you really need to kind of get moving. And yes, okay, good. This is going to be made a lot easier because I actually was able to pull that off. But, can't stop now. I'm going to save this turbo just in case. This is also the first final course that utilizes the drop swing, so... I'll have to keep that in mind as well. Frickin' drop swing. Okay, here it is, here it is. Yes, okay, good. Two more, only two more courses left. Can't freaking wait. Next we have Enchilada Baby from Patchwork. I do remember this one. If I can frickin' drop swing properly. And then do it again. Oh wow, that guy actually helped me. I appreciate that, Scully. Or Snow Guy, whoever it was. Now I'm gonna frickin' bomb you off the track, because why not? Well, so far this is a good start. Let's make it a good finish, too. I think this is... Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, this one's actually not bad. If you know what you're doing in terms of the... Uh, not really the shortcut, but this little route right here. Get knocked all the way over here to another part of the track. of these, uh, I'll do it here. That seemed like a good move to me. Me? Okay, I want to freaking keep going. Clown face. I can't really tell if he's closing in or not. It looks like he is, but, um, I can't really trust the meter on the left to give me too accurate of a prediction because it's been so freaking inaccurate this course oh god 
We're almost there. We're almost there. Not screw up now. Let's not screw up now. I don't see anybody, so I think we're good to go. Knock you out of the way. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Do I have to do another drop swing again? No, I have to freaking do this. Oh yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, one more track and then we're done. One more track. Okay, the beach. That's right. They named this track the beach. Why? I have no freaking idea. So this one... This is the one that incorporates basically everything you know from the game. Drop swing stuff. Just every single kind of platform and scenario involving said platforms. What? Okay, that was freaking mean. Neep, 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 no! Okay, good. No, 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 no. Okay. Hello, Scully. Oh, come on. Really? Nope, 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 nope. Haha! <laughs> Screw you. Oh, come on, really? Dang it! This is not fun. See, this is basically what the races end up becoming in this game. Oh, you jerk! No, no freaking way I'm gonna let you do that. Bomb? Really? Take that. Okay. No. You know what? Let's try bouncing on someone's head. Or not doing anything at all. See, like, nobody's gonna be able to move forward because they're too focused on trying to kill each other. Oh, see? Like, that's what it... Now everybody's making it. And I can't even move because... Frickin' jerk. Ah. Okay, there. I made it over. Haha. <laughs> Did I really just... Whatever. Let's do this. Oh, now I have to do this frickin' thing. I, I hate when they ever the game uses this. Because it's... I think it should be a lot easier than it actually is. And of course, the computer players do it no problem. See, like, I don't get that. Okay, you know what? Come on, no, no, grapple, there. Don't do that. No, no! See, this is... No, 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 no. Okay, there. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. I'm going to freaking do this. No, stop throwing me. There we go, thank god. Well, for, first, I have to go over here. <sighs> god. 
You see, this is why I get so angry about this game sometimes, because some of the stuff like that is ridiculous and, like, I wouldn't say impossible, but... Hell, you could almost say it's freaking impossible, just because it's impossible to do, like, efficiently, and not just efficiently, but also, like, um, consecutively, because the computer players, they're so random and so dickish that, like, you can't do anything. And what's sad is there's not much that you can really do about it, I mean... Yeah, the AI is really dickish, but, like, they're using the mechanics of the game, so you can't honestly blame them. Oh god, no, no. There we go. I'm not sure how much of this course we have left. I think I just took a shortcut, though, kind of. Maybe. What? I don't remember this. I don't remember this in the original course. What else? No, I have to go this way. Oh my god, really? I don't know what to do, because I don't remember this. Oh, thank God. Thank frickin' God. Ah. Uh, no. Now I'm having trouble with this platform. This is, like, really difficult, though. I keep slipping on the ice, or the sludge, or both, whatever. What? Okay. That didn't make much sense, but let's just roll with it for now. We're almost done. In fact, yeah, we're almost done, because goal right here, if I can just freaking... Come on, this is the end. Thank God. That was... Thankfully, it wasn't as bad as Tiki Woods, but still, that wasn't fun either. We got 100 points. First time we've gotten 100 points in a very long while. And for that 100 points, we get a secret character. Which we'll see after this little victory sing. Uh, sing. Get a nice little trophy for our efforts. And let's see what happens next. Congratulations, you have finished everything we have. There is no more. Go to bed, sleep well. Oh my god. What a very interesting message. And we didn't get the secret character message, which worries me. Because I really don't want to freaking do... Tiki Woods with 100 points. That's gonna freaking kill me. But, I guess in the meantime, I'll talk about this project and whatever. Uh, this game... Oh, wow, there's, all, there's so much I said in my blog post that I talked about earlier that would be more beneficial for an ending. But, um, I'll go ahead and kind of sum it up. This project was really interesting. Uh, like I said before, this is a game I've played a long time ago. And I, in fact, I never even owned the game until, like, recently, when I actually, like, you know, decided to go on Amazon, look for the game, and when I found it, I was like, you know what, I'll go ahead and uh, buy this game. And, you know, it was interesting playing this game again. Uh, there's a lot more to this game than I remember. And it's a lot harder than I remember, mostly on the later stages. On the early stages, eh, I can give the game a break, but some of the later stages are ridiculous. Like, Tiki Woods and Sun Canyon, like, those two courses alone kind of made me really angry. So, 
Yeah, I was kind of disappointed about those courses, but... I mean, for the most part, though, this game is still good. I don't think this game is bad or anything. It's just... It's a difficult game. It is. And I didn't get the secret character message, so that's gonna bug me. Maybe I got it on the character selection screen I didn't realize. I don't know. Let's see if I did. Come on. Oh, I did! Okay, cool. So here's the secret character you get in the game, and you get this for getting 100 points on uh, um, Iggy's challenge, and it's actually Iggy's girlfriend, Lizzie. You know, not much to really say about it, just another girl character for the uh, very few girl characters there are. But yeah, that's the final character you get, that's the reward you get for getting the final course and then getting 100 points. I don't think you get Lizzie if you just beat the course, so... Uh, yeah, that's uh, basically it for this video. I have one more video left where I'm going to basically uh, show off one more mode in its entirety and briefly discuss the other modes too, so... That's what I'm going to be doing next time, so... Uh, this has been Slim Kirby, this has been Let's Play Iggy's Wrecking Balls. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.